Deputy Sean Kine was the next question, number seven. I got the last can corner. The question, Minister, relates to the um, issues of undergrazing or perceived undergrazing on commonages and the impact that that could have on the birds and habitats uh, directives uh, as the forage areas on these, on these commonages are, are being reduced. Come on with Minister number seven. Yeah, no, th um, I want to thank the Deputy for this question. I know he's, in his own constituency he has a lot of commonage farmers, so he knows a lot about this issue. Um, the farming of commonage lands uh, has a long tradition in Ireland and by its very nature uh, is a complex area. There are issues about legal rights uh, to claim and there have always been disputes uh, about uh, grazing uh, of commonages. Uh, in the vast majority of cases, however, commonage shareholders work well together on a cooperative basis. Uh, it is important to note the optimum management of commonage uh, will not be achieved unless farmers actually manage these lands um, uh, unless farmers are actually involved in the decision making of the management of these lands as their knowledge of commonage areas is better than anybody else's. Um, as the implementation of the new common agricultural policy uh, has progressed, my department has been addressing a number of issues relating to commonage land in the context of both the, the new rural development plan and GLOSS and the new basic payment scheme. Uh, the experience to date since the single payment scheme was introduced in 2005 is that there is a growing problem of commonage land being undergrazed and in some cases being abandoned by farmers. Uh, a variety of reasons uh, have led to the problem uh, with undergrazing, including the introduction of a decoupled payment uh, uh, under the SPS in 2005, the requirement to, to destock in certain areas for environmental reasons, and the age profile of farmers within commonage land or commonage areas. Uh, this trend is not good for the environment uh, as these areas lose the specific characteristics uh, as natural habitats for flora and fauna. In addition, the creeping ineligibility of these lands under the single payment scheme and other direct payment schemes poses a significant risk to the state in, in view of the risk of financial corrections being imposed by the European Commission. Under the reformed CAP regime, it was decided that direct payments should, should be more focused on active farmers. In that regard, it will be necessary for all farmers who apply for aid under the basic payment scheme to have an agricultural activity on each land parcel that they claim on. Uh, on uh, in the case of marginal land, including commonages, this agricultural activity can only be achieved by grazing the land. The minimum activity envisaged under the basic payment scheme is a modest, uh, modest one, which is equivalent to a minimum of, of one yo. Uh, per one and a half hectares grazing requirement. Thank you, Minister. Uh, the rest of the reply will appear in the official report. Um, Deputy Kine. Some of the issues that I, I said earlier, I'm not sure whether Deputy Kine was actually here in terms of us looking Sorry, at, Minister, I'm, I'm, at I'm how we can apply flexibility where appropriate are currently under discussion. Thank you. Deputy Kine. Mr. Thank you for the reply, and I appreciate that the whole areas of common is somewhat of a minefield and very complex, and I do also acknowledge the uh, the threat of fines against the state, and I appreciate that you have appealed those, and hopefully there will be a positive um, result uh, from the Commission. I, I suppose I, I, I raised this issue at the Agriculture Committee, even though I'm not a member, but uh, when the Department and your officials were in last week, and it relates to the, the, the consequence of reducing forage areas. And two of the commonages that I, I've been dealing with are not act actually in my constituency, but in the neighbouring constituency in, in South Galway. And uh, in, in simple terms, the less forage area that you, that you have, following following inspection, if, if, if the Department of Inspectors reduce the forage area on a farm, that means that they, they're stating that the commonage is able to hold less stock. Therefore, less stock will graze, uh, less stock will, will, will exacerbate the problem of the undergrazing. And uh, this could um, lead to more, if you like, scrubbing up more areas uh, being not grazed on the commonages, which could have implications down the line in relation to the birds and habitats directive, because they, you, these areas are meant to be kept in, in proper ha habitat status. Thank you, uh, so I want to ask you to, to, to look into that area, please. Come on, Minister? I think that, that's, a, that's a very fair point. I mean, what, we're, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to introduce a basic minimum stocking rate that everybody has to apply. But on a lot of commonage areas, uh, we want to encourage farmers to put a lot more stock on. Right? So, uh, I mean, the, uh, the stocking rate is actually about proving a minimum level of agricultural activity. And I, I hope everybody would support the notion that we should be focusing our supports, financial supports, on active farmers, people who are actually farming, right, as opposed to people who are lucky enough to inherit some land or a shareholding on a commonage or whatever. So um, what we're trying to do is link proof of active farming, if you like, with a very low stocking rate. But after that, we should be encouraging, whether it's through gloss plans or through other um, 
um, uh, um, discussions with, um, with commonage farmers. We should be encouraging an appropriate stocking rate on that commonage area in terms of what it can carry. Thank you, and in most cases, that will go way beyond the minimum stocking rate. Uh, because otherwise, what we will continue to have is undergrazing, uh, more and more land actually being ungrazable, uh, and therefore the size of commonages effect effectively shrinking. Thank you, um, Minister. Uh, be be because large parts will, will no longer be in, in an agricultural condition. Come on, Deputy Kine. Thank you for the reply. I mean, again, and it's, 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 you have time between now and between when the single payment forms come out in the spring to look at this area, because where there are commonages where the forage area reduced, they are, by definition, able to hold less stock. And if they're able to hold less stock, you're going to cause you know, an increase in the level of undergrazing and a reduction in the habitat status of the commonage. So it's, it's, it's an important issue. And I think uh, ideally what you should do is to retain the forage areas but ensure the commonage is grazed and put a plan in place uh, to graze these commonage. And I could, I, could I ask you, as I said, between now and the forms come out in the spring, that you look at this area uh, to, to investigate the possibility of doing this and the consequences of not doing this uh, for the state. And there are some very um, competent people within the environment side of things, within the National Parks and Wildlife and, and others, who would who would understand that you know the consequences that could come down the line for the state in relation to these records? Minister. Yeah, I mean I understand what what the deputy is saying, but there is a, another consideration here as well, and that is the accuracy of of mapping. Right? So, like we we know and we've discussed in this house on many occasions the problems we've had with the new LIPA system, whereby we have more accurate imagery now of land than, than we've ever had before. Uh, uh, and, uh, and as a result of, of that accuracy, you know, the Commission is deemed that Ireland effectively owes it 181 million euros in terms of money that's been spent on land that isn't eligible. Now, we are not accepting that figure, and we're going to arbitration, and we're hopefully going to reduce it significantly, and we've put a huge amount of work into that. But I think it shows the seriousness uh, with which the Commission takes payments on land that they deem to be not eligible on the basis of what you can actually see on a maps uh, imagery. Uh, and and so, so we can't simply say, well, look, none of these commonage areas have actually shrunken in size because there's been an encroachment of, um, uh, of um, you know, whatever vegetation because of a lack of grazing. Thank you, you Minister. Know, if you can see that land is no longer in a condition that is, um, that is uh, 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 fit for agricultural practice, well, then you have some issues you need to deal with in terms of eligibility. Uh, to ensure, one, that you're accurate and, and that you avoid future fines, but at the same time you try to ensure that you do as much as you can from a stocking rate point of view, Thank as you, I Mr. mentioned Mr. earlier.